Hi, welcome to binary automation. So in this lecture, we will see what auto fixture is and what is the purpose of it, right? So this is the GitHub page of auto fixtures. Uh, if you see the definition of this, it basically says that auto fixture is an open source library for .NET designed to minimize the arrange phase of your unit test in order to maximize maintainability, right? And uh, it also says that its primary focus or goal is to allow developers to focus on what is being tested rather than how to set, to set up the test scenario, right? So basically, generally the developers and the testers, they use as auto fixtures to focus on actually writing the test logic and not and not focusing on what should be the test data, right? So for example, if you have an API endpoint and you want to test that endpoint, could be a get call or, or for example, a post call, right? And in your post call, you have you have a request uh, JSON payload with, with, with a lot of fields, right? And and you don't want to be bothered about what needs to be inputted into that uh, field. So in that in that case, you can use actually you can use test you can use auto fixtures wherein it'll just generate certain random value and you can just send the request, right? So let's see how this can be implemented. So in order to get the auto fixtures, right, we need to add a NuGet package called the uh, auto fixtures, right? So if you see this uh, NuGet solution uh, for my project, I have uh, I already have this auto fixtures installed, right? So uh, so if you want to use this in your project C# -sharp project, you can just install this auto fixtures. Yeah. So let's get uh, started. Okay. So uh, let's start by creating the object of this auto fixtures. Okay, so I've imported this. Uh, uh, if you see where it is coming from, fixture, it is coming from fixture dot fixture, right? So now this is actually instantiating your. Uh, uh, actually, it's creating an object of your auto fixture. Okay, now uh, let's start by actually uh, say creating a random uh, string. Okay, so uh, let's say that name string name equal to fixture dot create right so we have something called a create method so if you see what this method does creates a new specimen based on a request okay so let's say we want to create we ha and we have to also pa uh, pass the type of it right type t so in this case we want a string right so let's let's pass a string here okay and uh, let's quickly show you how, how it's actually generated right so let me just say name and quickly run this. If you see this, it has printed some random value, right? So how cool is that, right? So, you, uh, so in this case, you need not be bothered about what kind of data has been generated. You just want some data to be in, to be you know input into your uh, fields or in your properties, right? So, uh, similar in a similar way, we can also. Uh, create user defined uh, random data right so for example you have a class of say of type employee right and you have a lot of uh, properties in that and you want to generate certain uh, random values for that right so you can do that as well so uh, as i said just some time back that you know you have your api call you have an api with some request payload and you want to generate some random values you can do that using the auto fixtures right so let's see how we can uh, define an auto fixture for some user defined uh, data okay so i have a class i have a class here called the employee okay and it has three properties okay uh, salary uh, designation and then i also have a list uh, of uh, a position okay so basically one is int another is a string type and sec third is the uh, list so let's see how we can generate a uh, random data for this yeah so uh, let's again use the same uh, fixture and dot create okay so this time i'll be using the employee here okay uh, to create to cre uh, i'm giving this employee here as my de uh, you defined data type okay and let's say i am putting in some value called emp okay now what this holds is the actual uh, object of that employee okay now uh, say you want to print certain values okay of the uh, salary and uh, the designation so okay so let's see what gets generated here 
okay so if you see this the salary here is 164 and the designation is designation some some random value which is generated so so see how how great is that right so it has generated some random integer value called 164 and then certain random string so now if you see how the string is generated it actually appends what what the name of the value is for example you have, you have a property called designation and it has actually appended that uh, before uh, the random string right so if you have multiple strings and you you won't be able to sometimes you know it's easier to identify in that case right so that that's the way how the order fixtures work now in similar way uh, we we had a we had a list right so list of string and position so now you might be wondering how many how many uh, indexes or how, how many elements are going to be added in this list right so let's check uh, so let's check that as well yeah so let's create a uh, like a uh, for each okay sorry okay and in this case let's say employee dot position okay we just want to see how many positions are filled okay and let's do let's print all the items okay and let's just run this you see this one two three so our fixtures actually has filled three indexes or or three elements in that list so by default that's that's the that's the nature of how the auto fixture works so in case if you have given certain random list it will generate three elements for you in that list okay and then obviously you can customize that as well okay according to your needs right so you can in a similar way you can play around the auto fixtures in in, in different manners and you can you can create a lot of things with that and uh, maybe in the next in the next series when we do the uh, x unit uh, videos we'll also cover the inline auto data that's an even more amazing uh, uh, stuff right so uh, hope you like the video please um, like subscribe and share and comment as to what more uh, needs to be covered yeah so thank you